Good morning, good morning. Um, it's Friday and it's the last day for Teacher PD, so students are coming on Monday and I am a little nervous, but my classroom is almost done and I'm so excited. So I do have a couple things that I need to do. So I think I told you in the previous video, I ordered more Christmas lights and they aren't gonna be here until next week, I think, like Wednesday or Thursday. So, I have my own, but I still can't say it. In, in can, the one that the ones that are not LED. I have the ones that are not LED from my previous classroom, but there are a hundred lights per strand, and the ones that are LED in this classroom are 35. So they're a lot longer, and I don't, I don't know if I'm going to use them. I brought them to try them out, but I don't know if I'm going to use them. But what I did do is I got. Um, a pack of five for the remote controls for the lights so I plugged one in to each of the outlets for the lights so I have the front board I have the back board then I have the two side boards and I'm like well I have one more what should I do with it and I plugged it into the wall for my little lamp you can't see it because it's too bright there it is for my little lamp so now I can turn that one on and off too there's technically a switch on the cord but why do that when you can just put it on the remote? So um, the pack of five came with two remotes. So now I have one that I can kind of keep up in the front, like over by the whiteboard. And then I have one that I can keep maybe on my desk, maybe attach it to my lectern with Velcro or something. But this is what the back looks like. So it's really easy to just put some Velcro on it and like Velcro it somewhere. So I am gonna get some Velcro. It's just a matter of when. Um, but yeah, my classroom's coming together. We were putting up, well, I was putting up, and you're watching because you guys are the best, the best. Um, I was putting up my letters for the back um, bulletin board, and I noticed that I was missing one. It was so sad. So I remembered to print one off this morning, and it was the letter C. So I printed that off, and I brought it to work today. Um, so I'll at least have the letter. Oh, no. Okay, yeah. Freaking out. I thought I forgot it. I have the letter C. Um, this is what they look like when I print them out. Um, this is a font. I don't remember who it's from. I will see if I can find that out for you. Um, but I bought their whole bundle pack and the bundle pack was like, I think like $45 or something um, on Teachers Pay Teachers. I got the idea from Rachel something. She's on Instagram, Rachel something um, but she told another one of her followers because she used the letters in the same colors and everything so one of her other followers asked like oh my gosh where'd you get the font and then I saw and I was like purchase um, so yeah I bought the whole bundle of all the fonts will I use them all probably not but why not right um, I had a teachers pay teachers gift card and I had bought a majority of the materials that I needed so I was like let's just have some fun and get some fonts and then I, I don't know just makes my classroom look so much nicer but yeah, so I'm gonna cut that out. I'm gonna laminate it. I do have my laminator here, but I don't think I have the matte spray, which is kind of sad. But at least I can like get everything kind of stapled up without that letter and then spray paint it and then put that letter in um, so I can have the correct spacing and everything. But it'll be spray painted this weekend and then I'm gonna bring it to school on Monday and then Monday morning I'll just put it right back in and no one will even know that it wasn't done um, so that's what I'm gonna do today I'm gonna cut that out I'm gonna laminate it I bought an extension cord for the filter and I brought one for my house originally but it just wasn't long enough so I bought a 20 footer so it's white it's nice kind of matches um, the room I guess but I'm going to use this and put this around the door and I didn't know originally like how do I like make it go around like do I nail nails and just put on the nails well my dad has it's like so dusty I don't know how old this is these things and you put the cord through these so this is like for a group of cords like a lot but you nail like one side of it in no you nail both sides and then you put the nail or you put the cord in between these little hook things so that's going to keep the hook attached it's going to keep the cord attached to the wall so it's going to go over the door instead of just like dangling down and hopefully it's long enough 20 feet should be fine and then 
no one will have to trip over the cords for the filter. Um, this is what it is. <laughs> so I, this is the one I brought from home and it just didn't work. Like it would hang up here and just go straight down. It wasn't long enough to go all the way around and everything. So I am gonna wrap this around again and then it'll come out like at the top so it'll wrap up this way because there's a gap here. There's not a gap in the back. So it is what it is. Um, but I'm gonna wrap that around and then it will go around and then up and then down and then it'll plug in there. So then no one will have to trip over these as I almost just did. But yeah, one thing I do wanna mention is I had one of my friends tell me I should wrap this in that polka dot paper and I thought that was so amazing. But I don't know if I'm allowed to cover all of these. Like I feel like I need to have this available for whoever like um, changes out the filters and stuff. Yeah, because this is gonna be, I think this is where the filter goes in the bottom. But um, I put my flag up the other day. I put it up there, like I clipped the little wood thing and I put it up and I didn't like it. It waved in the thing, which I thought was kind of cool because flags are supposed to wave, but it blocked this and I just didn't like it. So what I did was when I was visiting my mom's house in Northern, Northern California, um, it was around 4th of July, it was in the summer and she had these flags that were like, like the color was a little bit different. So it was like, instead of red, white, and blue, it was like dark maroon, dark navy, and like this dark tan color. And I thought it was so pretty. Um, and I was like, you know what? I kind of want one of those for my classroom. So I found out that there are some that are called tea stained. Um, so I bought one and I didn't read I didn't read the description well enough like I knew the size it just wasn't registering in my brain so I bought it thinking it was the size of the flag that I just showed you the normal ones and man this thing is huge it is three by five but like in my mind I'm like yeah that's not that's not bad but then I'm like five feet I'm I'm five foot Six, like that's almost as tall as me so when I got home I opened it I'm like this is so pretty but it's huge so I decided why not just wrap it around the filter and then it'll make the filter look a little more not boho but like you know it'll match more because it's more like boho tea stained um, whatever type of flag so that's what I'm gonna do I'm gonna use magnetic hooks I think there's like the little what are they called grommets or whatever um, I have to check but if there's those little holes in it, which there are, these little, I don't know what these are called, grommets? <laughs> I feel like that's like not a word. It's like from that show Wallace and Gromit when they go to the moon and they think the moon is made of cheese. <laughs> Anyways, um, let me show you my flag. Look how pretty this is. So let me lay it down and lay it out for you. Only thing is it's not embroidered for the stars and I thought it was but it's just printed. I'm like, it would be so pretty if it was embroidered, but it's still so, so cute. This is what it looks like. So it's tea stained. Like how cool is that? So like, it's not just red. It's got like dark maroon and lighter red and then like different colors of red. Same with the tan and the navy. And this is just printed. It's not embroidered. It's like screen printed or whatever but I thought that was so gorgeous. Like how beautiful is that? So I was thinking it's huge, so what if I just take it and wrap it around there, right? So that's what I'm gonna try. I have these magnetic hooks. I have a lot of these. So I could just put this on it, put this on the filter, and then it'll just hang that way. So let's let try it. Go, go, let me go, let me go. I told you I'm not yours anymore. No, I'm not yours. So why are you trying to hold on, to hold on when I'm not there for you? Wanna take a different lane, wanna play my own game, and I don't need you here. So won't you let me go? Wanna take this ball and chain that you have put on me and throw it out the window? I think that you should let go Cause you know this is not meant to be Let go Maybe I should have known That you are not the right one for me Let go Okay, so 
so I called my dad and I showed him how the cord comes out it goes up around and then I have one more but they're big so I just want to make sure it doesn't go like that I want to make it go like this so we are gonna go to Home Depot this weekend and get some smaller ones of these and we're gonna fix that so it just stays right there but it was a perfect fit you guys look at that perfect perfect but yeah so we're gonna fix this I'm gonna get the things this weekend and then Monday when I get here early I'm going to kind of attach that to the frame so it's not going to get in the middle of my decorations but at least there's no tripping hazard so that makes me happy and then this is our flag so cute all right so the next thing that I'm gonna do is I have this construction paper is just white construction paper nothing fancy um, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take one of these and cover it almost all the way with this I don't have a lot left I wonder how much I have this is all I have left that's it so this should be plenty I'm just gonna cover the paper maybe halfway and then this is going to replace this piece of white paper right there can't even there we go so that is basically just covering the window and outside my room is a hallway so um, a lot of teachers like to cover the windows at least halfway because usually when we're teaching or I mean it's happened to me before um, when I'm teaching kids who are going to the bathroom or have like a hall pass or something they tend to look into the windows uh, make faces at their friends who are in class and things like that so I like to have the window at least halfway covered just so like it's tall enough to where if kids are walking by you can't see them. if they're really tall kids then they can <laughs> I want to make sure it's available um, to at least see if the lights on so like the top part of the window will be open and bare because if you can see the lights on then chances are I'm in my room because when I'm trying to find teachers on campus, I can't see in their rooms. I'm like, are they in here? Are they not? I'm gonna knock, but I don't know how long to wait because I can't tell if the light's on or not. Um, so that's what I was thinking too. So I'm gonna use this. I'm not gonna use all of it. And I was originally thinking of just taking this and putting it in, but it's, it rolls and I want it to stick. So this is the outside. So when you're looking, trying to look in, this is what you see instead of them seeing just white. And then us seeing this, which would be fine. Maybe I'll do both. Maybe I'll do it on each side because this might work. So let's see. So I'm going to go ahead and just go ahead and do this. All right. So this is what it looks like. It went a little bit over the paper, which is fine. So I could just cut that off too. Um, but it went on really smoothly and I'm actually really surprised because it had a little wrinkles and bubbles in it. I was still able to peel it off of paper, like legit paper, and the paper didn't rip or anything. So I'm very impressed. So I'm gonna cut this probably in half um, and then I'm going to put it on the window and then the other half will face us. So they will see the little spots and we will. So hopefully that works out. Don't call me, I don't wanna talk to you I'm better off not talking to you But why are you trying to hold So there was this tiny strip of contact paper that was left over And they put it up here And then I'm just gonna print out some more letters and it's gonna say like absent work and then this is it so this is gonna be Monday Tuesday Wednesday Thursday Friday and then these two on the sides are gonna be for um, English 9 English 11 yeah cute also I just found out today that when students go to the restroom or like need a hall pass teachers don't provide hall passes instead the students use their planners so the teacher would like sign their planner 
so I'm thinking of getting rid of these. I had three here, so this was our bathroom pass. Use soap. So I guess we don't need these anymore, so I guess I can just take these down. Um, I really like this though. I want to keep it. I just don't know what to hang on it. If you have any ideas, let me know. It has to be short so it doesn't go over that, but if you have ideas, let me know. Let me go, 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 go